Okay, so welcome to, you see me okay, day 32 I think we're on. And do you know what I thought I'd do today was I thought I'd find a place you wouldn't naturally associate with praying. So I'm on the trampoline um, because it's not like the first place you think of when you think about praying. But my point being, you can kind of go anywhere you want to pray, can't you? And, And one of the reasons why we're doing this is so that we can become good friends with God so that wherever we end up on a trampoline or wherever we are, we're learning to have a good conversation with him about stuff. So I thought we'd do this evening's day 32 with the sound of buses in the background on the trampoline. So this is called The Beauty Inside. And the reading is from the book of Philippians, which was written by a guy called Paul. And it's Philippians chapter one, verse six. God began doing a work in you and he will continue it until it's finished when Jesus Christ comes again. Like he started, so we'll finish. Philippians chapter one, verse six says, God began doing a good work in you and he will continue it until it's finished when Jesus Christ comes again. So, stalactite or stalagmite, one goes up or one goes down, but which one is which? Here is the trick. There's a C in stalactite, which grows from the ceiling. So that's, hey. So that's how you know which one grows down, which one grows up. Anyway, stalactites and stalagmites are formations that grow inside limestone caves. When water flows down through the caves, it dissolves calcite, which is a part of the limestone, and carries it through cracks in the ceiling. The water drips down and leaves behind tiny bits of the calcite. And over years of dripping, the calcite collects on the ceiling and the stalactite forms, slowly forms, looking like a rocky icicle. As water drips down the stalactite to the cave floor, more calcite collects on the floor. This slowly forms into a stalagmite. That's why the two formations are usually found together. Did you know? Sometimes they even grow together in in a form of a kind of single column. These hidden formations can be stunning in beauty and have to wonder how many of them go unseen in undiscovered caves. Tucked inside the earth, these stunning works of God's creation are made slowly over many years. In a similar way, God is creating an even more beautiful and stunning work inside you. Day by day, moment by moment, experience by experience, God is forming and shaping your heart. A heart to just look like his. It's a work that takes time, all the years of your life actually, but don't worry, God is patient and he's promised that he'll keep working on you until you are made perfect in heaven. Do you know what? I find that really comforting because some days I feel like a total muppet. Other days I think I'm doing all right. But the idea that God is at work within me, shaping me to be like the best version of James ever, like a Jesus-shaped version of James, like I find that really helpful. I hope you do too. Here's the uh, fact for the day. Discovered by accident, the cave of crystals lies hidden 1,000 feet beneath the Nica mine, which is located in the Chihuahua Desert in Mexico. Did you know there was a Chihuahua Desert? I didn't. It's a magical and deadly place. Temperatures inside the cave of crystals can soar to 118 degrees with 19% humidity. 90% humidity. So a person inside it can die within 30 minutes without the protection of a special suit. Inside the cavern, which is the size of a football pitch, enormous towers of sparkling white gypsum crystals sprout like icicles from the walls, the floor and the ceiling, making it look like a real world ice palace. That sounds wicked. It's called the Nika Mine in the Chihuahua Desert. Look it up when you get a chance in the morning. Right, here we are, time for trampoline prayer, which is just the same as any other prayer. It just happens to be on a trampoline. Let's just remind ourselves. I haven't got my stones, got nothing with me. It's just us and God. So let's remind ourselves that God is here with us now. Take a moment, take a breath, take a pause and thank him that he's with you all the time. We're going to keep it dead simple this evening. What are you thankful for? Say out loud, Father, I'm thankful for this. If you've got more than one thing, press pause and give it a go. Say as many thank yous as you want. Um, And what about the day do you wish you could do over again? total disaster just take some time to say sorry
And if you've got your stones with you, take those stones and put them by your bed. And, and each of those four stones represents something that you're worried about or you're concerned about or kind of going through your brain. Just hand them to God. God, would you look after this? Would you help me with this? God, would you keep hold of this till the morning? Hand them over. And now let's pray for each other. I want you to pray for me and I'm going to pray for you in silence that we would each have a good night's sleep. Let's pray. There we go. God bless. I hope you have a really good night's rest and I will see you on day 33. Take care.